Uh, greetings everyone in this video we'll be looking at nc level 3 mathematics achievement standard systems of simultaneous equations at an excellence level so some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video will be forming equations from a given context solving systems of three linear equations containing three variables uh, devising a strategy to investigate a problem with multiple solutions uh, using correct mathematical statements and communicating solutions in a context so we'll uh, have a look at the example this one uh, I've already covered the uh, merit part to this problem in my previous video. If you haven't already, uh, please do check that video out. So the question says, a local coffee shop owner prepares three different types of coffee drinks, a latte, cappuccino, and uh, flat white for its customers. For each cup of coffee, latte needs um, 18 grams of uh, ingredient A, 6 grams of ingredient B, and uh, 6 grams of ingredient C. Uh, cappuccino needs uh, 12 grams of ingredient A, 15 grams of ingredient B, and uh, 3 grams of ingredient uh, C. Uh, flat white uses uh, 6 grams of ingredient A, 4 grams of ingredient B, and 10 grams of ingredient uh, C. So the task one, uh, which was done in my previous video, it says find the number of latte, cappuccino, and flat white coffee drinks that can be produced using 1,770 grams of ingredient A, 1,350 grams of ingredient B, and uh, 1,380 grams of ingredient C. So this was already done. Uh, in this video, we'll be focusing on the uh, excellence part to the problem. So that comes from uh, task two. So it says, Arna decides to replace ingredient A with ingredient D in all of the coffee mixtures. The replacement weights are 9 grams for latte, 16.5 grams for cappuccino, and 9 grams for flat white with 2,040 grams of ingredient D that's available. The amount of ingredient B and C remain the same, and the question says investigate the new number of uh, coffee drinks that can be produced using ingredients B, C, and D uh, without any uh, wastage. So uh, we'll um, form equations by defining variables and uh, so in this case, we're letting X be latte, Y be cappuccino, and Z be flat white. And I've created a table, uh, like I mentioned in my previous video. And uh, this is uh, then easier to um, form equations. And uh, we have already done this part, um, and we ended up with uh, 0 is equal to 0. And this is where it's um, telling us that we will end up with a multiple solution. So in this case, an algebraic uh, solution resulted in a true statement. And uh, that's telling us that uh, we have a consistent system with dependent equations. So that will lead to uh, multiple uh, solutions. And geometrically, we can see that the um, planes will intersect uh, on a line. We will have multiple solutions. Uh, over here. So for excellence, uh, you will need to find the multiple solutions and um, this can be done either by giving a general solution in a parametric form or we can uh, list at least two uh, possible solutions for uh, this uh, scenario. So in this context, uh, you need to realize that uh, solutions must be both positive and uh, integer values because we cannot have um, a decimal number or negative number of um, uh, uh, cups of coffee that can be produced. So that's why we need to uh, be mindful of that. And then using equation four, we can find the gradient of a line where the uh, planes are uh, intersected. So equation four was 12y minus 6z is equal to negative uh, 30. And if I quickly rearrange this into y equals to mx plus c form, I get y is equal to 6 over 12z take away 2.5. Uh, negative 2.5 is the y-intercept, and 6 over 12, which simplifies to half, is the um, gradient value of the line where the uh, uh, planes are uh, intersected. So what gradient's telling us is uh, that if the y value increases by 6, then the z value will increase by 12. So this is the change in y and this is change in z in this case instead of x because the horizontal variable is uh, z in this case. And uh, we can quickly calculate the um, x-intercept and in this case the x-intercept for the um, place where the planes are intersecting on a line will give us the z value because we've got z in this uh, function. 
and uh, that is given by when y is equal to 0. So if I solve this, 0 is equal to 0 0.5, z take away 2.5. If I solve for z, z comes to 5 when y is 0. So that's our intercept. And we already know that uh, the solutions must be uh, positive and uh, integer values. So uh, what we will do next is we'll use y value of 0 and z value of 5 to find the uh, x value using the first equation that we have. And the first equation is 9x plus 16.5y plus 9z is 2040. Replacing the uh, y value of 0 and z of 5 gives you uh, 9x plus 45 is equal to 2040. So if I just go 9 times 5 is 45, because 16.5 times 0 is 0. And then take 45 on the other side. And then, uh, of course, we'll divide by 9 to get the x value. In this case, the x value comes to a decimal number. So this is uh, telling us that we cannot have uh, uh, this. Um, so uh, we will have to reject this one. So we need an integer. Therefore, x uh, value of 221.67 is not the solution in this uh, case. But what we can do now is we've got the z value of 5 and y value of uh, 0. We can create a table of values to find the uh, multiple solutions. And I've uh, got x, uh, which represents latte, cappuccino is the y variable, and z is the flat white. And uh, when y was 0, we found the z value, which was uh, 5. And that gave us um, x value of 221.67. And we know this cannot be the solution because we cannot have a decimal number of latte that's um, being produced. Now, using the gradient of uh, 6 over 12, which simplifies to half, uh, we can uh, fill in this table. Now, what half means is if I increase the y value by y is the rise, so y value by 1, the z value will increase by 2. So if I change those numbers, so if this is 1, and z value is 7 because 5 plus 2 is 7. That's uh, how we got half. And if I calculate that using the first equation, it ended up with a decimal number again. So we have to reject this. And then we'll go on to the next one. So if I increase the y value by 1, I must increase the z value by 2 because our gradient was half. So if I do that, I've got the uh, y value of uh, 2 and z value of 9. And if I quickly substitute that in the uh, uh, first equation here, substitute 2 and 9. And so we've got 9x plus 33 plus 81 is 2040. And then uh, if I take uh, eight, uh, 33 and 81, which is uh, 114 on the other side, I end up with x value of 214. We've got a whole number value. Now, what this tells us is that uh, we have got one of the solutions, which could be uh, two cups of um, uh, cappuccino, nine uh, cups of uh, flat white, and uh, 214, which is our x value, 214 cups of uh, latte. Now, once I've got uh, the first value, then from here, we can just simply use the uh, gradient value, the actual gradient value not the simplified one. So the actual gradient value says if I go up by, if the y value goes up by 6, the z value must go up by 12 so that all the possible solutions are on the uh, straight line that we have there. So if I'm increasing the um, uh, y value, as you can see, if I just add 6, I will get 8, which should be our next solution. Then 9, if I add that, if I add 12 to 9, I will get 21. And then if I solve using the first equation, it gives me the value of 191. And I know these are all whole number values. So this becomes our next solution. And then the pattern continues. Now, if I add another 6, so if I'm adding another 6 to 8, I have to add 12 to the uh, flat whites there, and that gives me uh, the corresponding values 33 and 14. And then I don't have to use the first equation uh, to find the x values because I can see a pattern here every time it's reducing by 23. So I can use that uh, analogy to find the other um, possible solutions. And then if I repeat the pattern, 
I will be able to fill in this table. So I'd suggest uh, if you can pause the uh, video and uh, fill in the table yourself uh, and uh, just go up in uh, six for the uh, cappuccino and Z will go up by 12 because our gradient was 6 over 12. And then uh, likewise, we got a patent for a number of latte that can be produced, which was going down by 23. So we maintain the pattern. And then we have got 10 possible solutions here, 10 possible combinations. And why I'm rejecting the last one here, we cannot have 62 cups of cappuccino and 127 cups of flat white because it's giving us a, a negative value for latte. So we have to reject that one. So this table tells us that the solutions for latte will be all the uh, positive integer values between uh, 7 and 240. Cappuccinos will be between 2 and uh, 56 cups and flat white will be uh, between 9 and 119. All the possible uh, values that I've listed here. For your actual assessment, to get excellence, you must interpret these uh, solutions in context. So it says the table above gives uh, multiple solutions. So in this case, the owner can produce 214 cups of latte, 2 cups of cappuccino, and 9 cups of flat white, or he can produce 191 cups of latte, 8 cups of cappuccino, and 21 cups of flat white, or 168 cups of latte, 14 cups of cappuccino, and 33 cups of uh, flat white, etc. So you got the idea there. And then uh, what you need to uh, be mindful is that uh, in this context, solutions must be both positive and uh, integers. So that's why I rejected all the decimal number of uh, values there. But um, I hope you can uh, see the pattern there clearly. And uh, what I would suggest is uh, try and pause the video and work it out yourself and see if your answer matches with this. For excellence, if you end up with a scenario where you, uh, when you're solving algebraically, you end up with a um, true statement, you know that you will uh, have multiple solutions. So what you can do is uh, look at the uh, equation uh, number four or five, because that's where the uh, intersection is on that line and uh, find the gradient value solve for the um, x uh, intercept value and then you create a table of values using the gradient value as your guide and then you can fill in the table easily and then uh, write a sentence describing so those uh, multiple solutions in context hope this helps i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video